Everybody, this is Dr. Hack, and we are going to take a minute to understand how a player rated 1000 on chess.com gets a competitive advantage against his peers. We want to know how you move on from that rating pool. Plenty of people are stuck there. Let's figure it out. Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at 10 positions from 1,000 rated players on chess.com. This is between 1,000 and 1,100. And we're just going to look at the final position, and we're going to guess and gather some things from the final positions. Here we go. So this is the first one. And the way that I'm going to do this at a glance, I might do this really fast. Apologies in advance if I go too fast. Just slow the video down. Pause it if you have to. Uh, I just want to know who's ahead by how much material count, right? And the way that I'm going to do that quickly is I'm going to cancel. I'm going to say, hey, both players have a knight, so I'm not going to count the knights. Both players have a minor piece here. Those are both equal, right? Three points. So I'm not going to count those. And I'm actually not even going to count the pawns. I'm going to glance at them, and I'm going to see if there are about the same number of pawns. If one guy's got one extra one, I don't care. If one guy's got five extra pawns, I do care. Okay, but here we have just one rook left over. So I'm going to say this is black ahead by five points. Right? So we're going to, I'm going to circle all the pieces that I'm not going to count. <clears throat> and the pieces that are left at the end of the day to count are the queen, which is worth nine, and the knight that's worth 12. Uh, well, three. And if you count the next move, he's going to lose a rook. So he's going to be up 17. It's big. This is black by five. Easy one. This is black by 11. And this is black by 4. Right? The bishops cancel. This is a queen versus a rook. Okay, this is a toughie. Uh, there, cancel. Right? Cancel. 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 So what we have left is a rook against the bishop, which is two points for black. And then he's about to take a full queen. So it's going to be the queen left over and then an exchange. That's, that's black by 11. Cancel, cancel. This is white by eight. This is worth two points. This exchange, this is worth two points. So black by four. Okay, cancel, cancel. This is black by six. Three, six. Okay, cancel those, cancel those. This is white by five, 10, 13, 16. White by 16. Now, I hope something stuck out to you there as we went through and did that. Uh, that. That wasn't for nothing, that exercise. Because what we have to understand is that material is the king of these games. The person who has more material will win the game. Almost every time. Not every time, but almost every time. And that means that the, the way that you need to progress and beat every single player that's rated a thousand is by always having more material than they do. Okay, how do we do that, right? That means that we're gonna have to become a better tactician in tactics relating to the win of material than our opponent is. And that's something that we can study. If that's where our competitive edge lies at a thousand, all we have to do now is find a method of training that into ourselves so that we can do that every time. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to caveat because this player that we're looking at, these were all one player's games. There are two paths that a 1000 player will take. And the other one is a little more rare, but it still exists. So I need to talk about it, right? Because one kind of player rated a thousand will try to go materialistic and try to win the material and win the game that way. That's the most consistent. The other player rated a thousand is going to try for checkmate in every single position. They will always go for the king and it always and it works enough to keep them at a thousand rating. Now that second player, they're going to be behind material when they win almost every time because they're going for checkmate, they're not going for material. Their opponents are winning for material, they're going for the king. So, so we just need to understand that those two kinds of 1000 rated players exist in the wide world. Okay. Um, but that makes perfect sense because there are two main branches of tactics 
tactics that surround the winning of material, and tactics that surround checkmate. The third type of tactic, right, tactics that surround the queening of a pawn, doesn't necessarily come into play very often for these guys, because there's going to be so much of a material misbalance, unbalance, by the time you get there, that queening a pawn is not the thing that wins the game, right? It's just something extra that helps them to finish it off and get the checkmate if the other player is playing on till the end, which they often do. So, so then what do we do to train these tactics? And I think that is where the internet lets us down. And this is where, as a, as a coach, I always, you know, made significant gains with my students because the internet is so wrong. I mean, it, I mean, it's ridiculous how wrong it is. Um, think about how, how you guys have, have heard how you train tactics, right? They tell you things like go and cram positions from puzzle generators like LeeChess.org or Chess.com. Solve more puzzles, they say. Solve, 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 solve. Solve until you puke and then jump up and down in it, right? The woodpecker method. Holy crap. What a joke. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with the woodpecker method. I'm sure it's fine. But but the the types of things that you've been doing to train your tactics, it doesn't work. I had a player come to me who who said he had trained tactics for two years straight on on leechess.org he just puzzle after puzzle after puzzle he solved over 10,000 puzzles in two years and he didn't get he didn't master tactics and that boggled my mind because when I when I learned tactics it took me about three months and I was done uh, and this was back in 2000 and three 2004 um because the way that i was doing it was not random position generator those didn't even exist then um the way that i did it was i was fed positions from a chess master that had curated a list of positions for me to look at and once i had looked at all of those positions i had seen almost every kind of tactic now, not in every possible situation, because that would be a bajillion positions, but I had seen every type of tactic at least once. Hmm. So in order to learn tactics, you need to be fed the correct vocabulary. And then if you cram those things in, if you do a woodpecker method or whatever you do, I don't even know what that is, whatever you do to learn those positions, once you've learned them, you're done. You don't study tactics your entire life. You you maybe you you do calculation exercises to keep yourself sharp, but but you have the tactics in your head at that point. So there is one program that does it better than anything else, and I hate doing this because it costs money, right? Um, and also for you for you people who are rated one thousand, it's going to be very challenging. Uh, I would say extreme challenge to, for the, these positions. And the, the program is called Chess Tactics Art, CT Art. And it is a set of positions from 1200 to 2400, about 2000 puzzles. Now I have the caveat because that particular program, it was, it was good. And so they decided that they would upsell it and they would bundle it and they would add stuff to it that you don't need. And they would make easier tactical programs and say, hey, this is for beginners now. Well, I got to tell you something about that extra stuff. It doesn't do what the original thing did. The original thing was curated by a grandmaster, specific positions designed to train you in tactics. And it did. Now, was it missing some things? Sure. It didn't have very many positions on how to queen a pawn. It had just about everything else, though. Just about. Uh, and also... If you, if you start solving that, that particular program, since it starts at 1200 and goes to 2400, those positions start very difficult for a 1000 rated player. And then they get really difficult very quickly, right? So you have to find a way to do the easiest ones first somehow. There's a setting in there you have to flip it on to do the easy ones first. Um, there's about 110 of those positions to, to learn from before you move on. But by the time you move on from the easiest ones, you have what you need to solve the next tier of position. Right. 
So you need to study tactics in order to become better than 1000 and the way you study tactics matters. I really hope this helps somebody. Keep sending me questions. You guys take care. Bye now.